Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Zarina, I am 28 years old and I am unemployed. As a product of the society, I feel worthless when I don't make money. So I am a bit down in the dumps. When I am like this, I don't want to do any more work. I don't want to even do a, any housework. I only want to watch something or play video games. My goal with this video is to make myself do some work around the house at least because not only I am in the dumps, my house is a dumpster right now. <laughs> So I want to start with cleaning because as you may know by now, when my surroundings is untidy, I cannot focus on my work, so yeah. So I started to clean out my desk. I am a paper hoarder. I write my ideas everywhere and I write them into separate papers and I have to keep them until moments like this when I want to declutter. I look at the papers and keep the nice ideas somewhere and throw the bad ones out. <laughs> and I usually listen to some tea drama channels right now I was listening to Angelica Olds she usually talks about makeup drama which I have no interest whatsoever <laughs> but I love listening to that and then I decided to listen to Rich to glare she usually talks about more disturbing content this time she wasn't she was talking about some light-hearted celebrity gossip so as you can see i cleaned my desk and my cat is already exploring luna i am done with that and now i have to do some laundry which is something that i liked doing but recently i have been doing so much laundry it's like we are only two people in this house who wears clothes. Obviously our cats don't wear anything and we don't have children. So it's just the two of us. And it feels like my laundry never ends. The reason why I mentioned not having children is that sometimes when I feel overwhelmed with the laundry, I think about the people with children who has to do laundry like three times a day like there's like they have to change their children's clothes like five times a day they have to do they they have to stay on top of laundry so that they don't get overwhelmed now that i vented enough i want to go to the kitchen and oh no i have to fold my laundry and then go to the kitchen and clean that place and when that's done i need to vacuum and mop the whole place and we'll be done with cleaning so after a while i got hungry and went to the store got myself some tortilla that's all the walking i'm gonna be doing today So it is almost 8 p.m. and I am still not done with all the things that I wanted to do today. Do all the laundry and the surface cleaning and the cat stuff like litter box and stuff like that. And now I have to do the rest of the dishes because I still haven't finished all of that. And I need to dye my hair. Um, I mean, it's just the... It's just one more layer of red. Um, I'm not going to do anything to the roots, not just yet. I don't feel like doing anything to the roots today. Uh, it just takes a lot of time and I don't have that energy. Uh, I'm just going to do one more layer of red just because the saturation is gone. So I need that back. Tomorrow we are going to a engagement party. It is my husband's brother's engagement party. Anyways, I just can't decide if I should work out first or do like dye my hair first. I don't, I can't decide that. I decided to dye my hair first and then went back to doing my workout. I did jumping ropes and then I did some abs workout and stretched.
done. So I just finished 30 minutes of workout and like 10 minutes of yoga. And by yoga, I just mean stretches. Um, once the squirrel had a beef with me over this, what you are doing is not yoga. Yoga isn't done like this. You are just stretching. And I'm like, okay, bitch, whatever. I am getting the results that I was after. So you do you and I'll do me. As you can tell, we are not friends anymore. Once I was sharing my, my flexibility journey on my Instagram stories and this guy friend of mine, like at the time, why are you doing this? What is going to, like, what are you going to gain from this thing? Like, like, you know, the hustle bros. I am not after anything. I just like doing this. I just like being flexible. So what is it to you? That was the day I blocked him from my stories. I'm not saying that I don't take criticism. Like, if you are knowledgeable in, in a field, let me know what I'm doing wrong. If you're just going to be like a meanie about that, like, I don't care about your opinion. Correct my form. Don't tell me this is not going to get you anywhere. Like I am not after getting anywhere with the stretches I do. If you know something is potentially dangerous, like being in a wrong form while doing a workout or stretches, letting that person know is a good thing. But don't go around and tell them you won't get anywhere with doing this and blah blah blah. Nobody cares about your opinion, okay? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> what I was going with that was that I did my stretches and yeah, I am feeling much better after I did my workout. And now that I am all sweaty and my hair has been marinating in the dye, I'm going to go take a shower, wash my hair. about the jump scare I didn't mean to do that so as you may be able to tell I am in my bed I have my night light on and I'm sorry about the camera camera quality I cannot talk um, so why am I shining that's what I want to know right now anyways um I am in my bed it is now 2 a.m. I am ready to try to fall asleep and I read when I want to fall asleep sometimes. Usually I watch videos like I put them in the background so like listening to a story. Some Right now I want to read this book because I am like 80% done and I want to be done with this book. It could have been like 300 page book like it shouldn't have been like 500. It's 507 pages. Like, I am not interested anymore. It's been going on for far too long. I read one page in two minutes and I have 105 pages left to read, which means 210 minutes. And that translates into three hours and a half. Exactly. Three and a half hours left of this. I'm going to read it for like 30 minutes right now. In two days, we are going to this other region. So I'm, I think I'm going to read the rest of that on the way there. Why did I say that is a mystery to me as to you. You know, the, there's this new TikTok sound that I relate to a lot. Good job, someone. And she says, what did I say? I speak a lot, so I have learned to tune myself out. Really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. That's what I am doing. Like, I, I, I speak a lot, especially when I'm tired. I tune myself out right now, but when I am editing the video, I am going through what others are going through when they are talking to me. I cannot 
not rant about this. This book is 500 pages. It could have done with only 300 pages. Because of the dialogues like this, there's two guys, they are talking and walking and one one guy is an older guy and he says, uh, can we sit down on this bench a minute? My legs are starting to ache. The other says, but we've only walked around twice. That's not even half a mile. I think the altitude is getting to me. Can we just bloody sit down? And he says, of course. And the narrator goes, they sat on a, on the bench donated by some famous local moorland enthusiast whose name was engraved on a brass plate. Okay, describe the bench whatever, but that dialogue did not need to happen. You could just leave those eight lines out. Nothing would change. Narrator goes into saying, they sat down on the bench and you describe the bench. That's all. We already know this guy is old. Anyways, I'm going to continue. Good morning and by morning I mean afternoon because it's like 12 p.m. and I got my coffee and I will be looking through the videos I recorded yesterday see what abomination you know with natural with natural curly hair you just you're just playing games. I don't have any control over how my hair is going to look the, the next day. So yeah, I gotta do something about my hair. So it is 12 p.m. I'm going to an engagement party today. So I will have to leave by 5 p.m. So that means I need to get this video ready by 5 p.m. If everything works out, this is going to be the first ever video that I recorded and edited the, just the next day and uploaded in that same day. It will be the first video that I did that. It is almost 4 p.m. I am doing the last like finishing touches to my video and I have to get ready and leave my house. Yeah, so that's where we are. I will be uploading the video from the engagement party. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching until the end. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. Follow me on my socials. I am more active on my Instagram. And thank you again for sticking until the end. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.